ไปจามาไม่อยากพูดอย่างนั้นในบางอย่างก็อยู่กับเรื่องที่เสียไปแล้วเพราะว่าไหนที่เราบ้าหอมเลยสุดแล้วกูก็ปัจจุบันจะเ
culminating uh, energy. We call it the the uh, third element of effort, which we discussed before. It is also uh, aimed at the sharpening of penetrative insight. Oh, sorry, penetrative mindfulness, the deepening of concentration, and the unfolding of more and prof- more and more profound levels of insight. But this development of such mental qualities cannot occur without appropriate causes. The controlling faculties of faith, energy, mindfulness, concentration, and wisdom cannot attain that state of control if they are not properly developed according to uh, the respective uh, causative factors. ชุบุ้นชุบเกวยุ่นน่ะอายุโลหะเปตตั๋วดาชีเวไอ้อเปตมีอองชีวะเลยอเปตขึ้นอาเลเวทีเดียดิหาเปตเตเปตตั๋ว
ชีวิตตาตาไทยเนี่ยเป็นชีวิตตาตาตามาเลยเว้ยโกก็ชิบเจ็บตัวเลยตัวนี้โกคงรู้ดีอ่ะชื่อมันมันเลยไล่หนี
the degree of care that would be needed to ensure that the oil does not spill from the bowl. Another example is that of a man is that of walking on a very narrow footbridge. It's like uh and you if you're walking, if you have to walk across uh, a river on this very narrow foot wide footbridge, you'll have to be very careful. You can't just run across the bridge. There is the uh, <clears throat> water right below you and you have no railings and you have to go step by step very carefully. You can imagine the intensity of care and meticulousness needed in such a situation. That is the same degree of mindfulness that you have to exercise in your practice. ยานอมยาหาไทยตะกุยสันลุชะสะเนี่ยอยู่มูลิอยู่เนี่ยไม่อยู่ไม่ตีเนี่ยตะกุยจะเลยยุ่งเนี่ยไทยยุ่งเน
ဟာတိဘာဝကြပါတယ်။အဖြစ်လို့လဲဆိုတော့လောက်ကမှာညမ်းညမ်းလုတ်တင်တဲ့နေရာဖာနှိနေသွားလို့လို့ရှိရင်
which means uh, lying up and taking up, uh, taking your food and so forth. But when you actually sit down and eat, you can eat as low as you want to. This also includes uh, taking a shower, having a bath. There are limited uh, bathrooms available, so you have to be considerate. Thirdly, this also includes uh, coming for your interview sessions. There are people who are waiting and uh, it would be good if you could come at normal speed. <laughs> ตมันเนตมะสัตตวะไทยนิโรงขะอะมะอองเปมุกะอะสะปอเรอายุงกะมะละเสียวไทยยามะทะโลมะปิหวาเลมะทะจินเนสิกิริยะสะวิโรเต
uh, wiping your face, um, closing your eyelids, blinking, and turning, and so forth. All these activities, no matter how small or minute they may appear to be, should be made the object of mindfulness, made the object of continuous mindfulness, without any break at all. ကျင်းကမြောက်ဟာတော့မိချိန်မပေါ်ခင်ကကျင်းကြောင်းတစ်ခုနဲ့တစ်ခုပေါ်လေပို့ပြီးတော့မိလုပ်ရတယ်မိ
It will suddenly rush towards its object, but not at once. It will scurry around, scurry along, and then stop and gaze into the air, uh, stare, and uh, tilt its head, and look here and look there, and sometimes just stare into the sky. And it will take another spurt, and it will stop again to gaze into the sky. And then it will it will start off again and spurt off again and stop again. It never reaches its destination at one go. It uh, spurts forward and stops for a while, gazing. Spurts forward and stops for another while, staring. Stops forward and uh, spurts forward and stops again. This time, uh, tilting its head this way and there. Or a yogi who practices in a similar fashion, being mindful for a stretch and then starting to daydream. Mindful for another stretch and then starting to reflect. Mindful for another stretch and then starting to think of this and that and uh, and so forth. Such a yogi is a chameleon yogi. Others are uh, things that we are unlikely to find any chameleon yogis around here. Uh, but there are some people, some yogis, who have a very strong tendency to reflect and think. Every new experience that they have will be cause for them to start reflecting. Oh, where am I now? At which stage am I? I have I arrived? Or people will start to think about other things. Oh, I feel so tired today. Maybe I didn't have enough sleep. Maybe I ate too much. If I could just take a little nap, then I'm sure I can improve my mindfulness tremendously. And you start to think and reflect, reflect, consider the pros and cons of sleeping. Or you could, uh, when you're watching pain and the pain starts to give you a little bit of trouble, you look at it and it increases in intensity, it's stronger, and, uh, oh dear, my feet are really hurting. I wonder if it, it will, you know, turn into a sore. It will affect my whole meditation. I won't be able to practice for this whole three months. Maybe I just better, you know, shift it a little bit. And so forth, you know, a yogi, who uh, is prone to all these little stops is very much like a chameleon yogi. Yeah, in the endeavor to be mindful of mental and physical phenomena as they arise within us, <clears throat> so that one can see very clearly their passing away, see very clearly how they dissolve. It is very important to have these first, uh, these uh, second and third factors that will conduce to the, to the development of the fact of the controlling faculties. If there is care and meticulousness in one's practice, there is a slowing down in movement, uh, great respect for what you're doing. If there is also unbroken and persistent continuity in practice, the yogi can indeed go a very long way. Yogi <laughs> 
ตีละเลยเอาเมตเฮาบ่ล่ะเตนี้ยะจ่าบ่ล่ะซะเลขันล่ะเลยตัตตะเตยะลีดีตะมานะกูอ่ะตุ้งนี้ยะก็หนีไ
And we begin also to understand uh, very, uh, in a very special way how they are connected to this mechanism of cause and effect. And especially when we are able to see uh, the characteristics of impermanence, of suffering, and of non-selfness, we are filled by this great faith. A person who has attained the uh, insight into arising and passing away is especially filled with this faith, this verified faith, because he's because a yogi will be able to see uh, objects arising and passing away from moment to moment, whether it's mind or matter. And uh, when one is able to see that, again, it can be very fulfilling. One can exclaim, it's fantastic, I'm seeing a nature, everything is really coming and going away. It's, it's really, there's no self in there, I can't find anyone. It's just moments after moments of uh, these phenomena with no space in between, one after another, just uh, going on according to their own laws. There's no one there, no one at home. It's, it becomes a great relief, a great uh, discovery that will fill you with a lot of faith. ဒီတက္ကစကိရိယာနဲ့တတိစကိရိယာဒီနမျိုးပေါင်းစာပြီးတော့ဒါတွေးတဲ့ဥပါလေးနဲ့ရှင်ပြလို့ရှင်ဘ
they can be rest assured that in a short time you will make fantastic progress in your practice. Your faith will be, your faith and effort, your mindfulness, concentration, and your insights will become strong and uh, durable and will deepen. Time has caught up again, again with us. So, Sarah so will continue the rest of the factors. Uh, tomorrow. <laughs> 